So I want to share with you something beautiful, something powerful, really powerful. And it's from the Greek poet Archilochus. He wrote that we are not falling onto the levels of our expectations, but rather we are falling onto the levels of our training. So this is powerful because many times we are expecting that things will unfold the way we want. But actually things are unfold the way we are prepared to experience. The way that we are ready to experience them. That's why most of people are not able to manifest their lives the way they want to manifest them. Because they are not practicing to become who they want to be. It's truly powerful. We need to practice who we want to become in order to become it. When we will become it, everything around us will start reflecting our being, what it means. When everything around us will start reflecting our being, it means that birds will start singing beautiful songs like this one. <laughs> but it also means that when we get onto the greater vibrations, greater levels of vibrations, everything around us will be on the greater levels of vibrations, which means that we will start meeting people which are on greater levels. We will start experiencing more abundance because it is on the greater levels. We will start seeing more beauty because beauty is on a greater levels of vibration. And it doesn't mean that like our environment will completely change. Our perception will change because we can see that the beauty, look at that, the beauty is already around us. But not many people are able to see it. Because their perception is so closed, so closed-minded, that they can only see what is wrong. And we are not aware that we are not just practicing things when we consciously choose to practice something. Like for example, doing certain sports, playing certain instrument, or doing an artwork. We are not just practicing when we choose something to practice. We are practicing everything that we are doing every single day, every single second. When we are thinking the thoughts, we are practicing thinking those thoughts. When we are choosing certain actions, we are practicing choosing those actions. When you pull your phone out of your pocket, you are practicing pulling the phone out of your pocket. When you are scrolling down the social media, you are practicing scrolling down the social media and people are getting really good at doing that. Right? So we are practicing being distracted all the time. And then we are asking ourselves why we have so low energy, why we have the lack of energy all the time. Because we are practicing that. So it's a powerful video right now because when we choose to practice only what is good for us, we will become good at everything we choose to do. I choose to train myself not to be distracted. Before I will find a video with an attractive title, I will ask myself, is this video really important for me right now? Or I just want to click on it because it have, has an interesting title. Do I w want to open this, this Facebook or Instagram or whatever, just because I'm bored or because I want to truly do something there. You know, when we start asking those questions, we will always become aware before we act, we will become aware how we want to act. And when we become aware how we want to act, we can always choose a greater action. A greater action will bring us greater reaction, right? 
And if we are focused enough to do it with each thing that we are doing, we will become better at it. What if we would design a plan? Okay, the next week I want to be that kind of a person. I want to go out for a run five days in a week, for example. I want to read one book in a week. I want to express myself truly honestly. I will not deny my emotions anymore. I will express them. I will put them out. That's who I want to be the next week. Okay, that's it. That's my plan. But what should I do today that I will execute that plan? That I will... You know that I will become that person. What should I practice today so I can become that person? Well, I can go out for a run to raise my energy. Well, I can do a meditation to become aware of my emotions. Right? We need to practice who we want to become. But firstly, we need to be aware who we want to become. It's easy to look around you, to see successful people and say, yeah, I want to be like them. But when you would look into their lives and you would see what they are doing, that they are who they are, you will see that it's not a really easy thing to do. From the lower vibrational state, those people are on high vibrations and they will say, yeah, it's, it's easy to do those things. It's easy for them because they've trained themselves to get there. And I want to encourage you, train yourself to be who you want to be. Be aware how often you get distracted just because you are bored. Just because you, you think you have free time. You think you have enough time, but there is no such a thing as, as having too much time, you know? All we have is this moment. I'm telling you all the time, all, the, all we have is this moment. If we will not do it right now, we, we will never do it. We can postpone it till forever. All we have is this moment, my friends. So start taking actions right now. Design a plan of being your greatest self. You can always connect with your higher self if you wish. With God, with greater consciousness, whatever you choose. You can always connect with it because it's there for you. It's not running away from you because you are not following your heart. It's there waiting you to connect with it. It's there waiting you to connect with it. So, use that power, my friends, because it is waiting you. I can tell you what, what my higher self told me to tell you. That it is waiting you. It is actually just, it is just being there in higher dimension, which is hard to understand from that perspective, but I can tell you, it is there, waiting, we could say chilling, looking down at you, and waiting, okay, when this guy will finally decide to connect with me so I can guide you, we can become one, like... You can become an expression of me. How long will you be still wandering around until you will connect with me? That's what the higher self is telling you. You can always choose to connect with it. So you can become the greatest version of yourself. And that's it, my friends. This is it for now. I'm sending you love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful time and, or better said, have a beautiful life and see you soon. <laughs> One love.